Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel oh welcome to you. Before we get into the reads I'm doing a little intro this week because I just want to give a shout out to a couple of people. Now then guys last week I had a lovely comment on my channel and I clicked on the actual profile picture because the name of the person who put it on it came under as the tipsy tea leaf oracle and I was instantly drawn thinking that's somebody who's got their own YouTube channel so I clicked on the channel and there's a lovely lady on there and I instantly felt her aura and connected with her straight away spiritually a beautiful soul really a beautiful soul and she sent me a beautiful email um, and I replied back to her and like I say it's weird how things work sometimes but I just had an instant connection and I felt as I say that the love that she puts out with her own readings I am asking you my lovely subscribers click on the description link below and will you please support this lady okay she deserves uh, more subscribers and definitely more views on her videos okay so as um, a spiritual friend to a spiritual friend and my lovely spiritual subscribers it's not going to cost you anything just click on the link below and go and show some support and subscribe and view your readings that she's done um, she's also got a son a 12 year old son that sort of comes in and she calls them the warm and fuzzies okay and see he sort of helps her with the tarot readings um auric or auric okay which you call in it's a um it's a foreign word for the name of oracle but she'll explain that on her video when you click it okay she's the expert there not me but yeah guys honestly um i'd be grateful if you could give this lady some support septima samantha um her name okay septima unusual name unusual lady and as soon as i looked at her you guys can comment as well but if you agree with me but she did say she gets called it quite a lot and she reminded me so much of annie lennox out of the group eurythmics okay so that was my first shout out and the other one i've got another link below and that is for falling star tarot she's a subscriber of mine and she comments regularly um, I do sort of dip over now and again to have a look at her pick a card channel and again if you could show some support there I'd be grateful. So without further ado we are going to get into the weekly reads guys. So my lovelies are going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Capricorn. We have to sing for Capricorn. <laughs> So Capricorn, let's have a look what's going on for you this week, okay? So I sort of tried to quickly look at money, love, health, uh, challenge and the overall energy in my poetic form this week. So I'll get those little words out to start with and then we'll go into the reading, okay? So in money you are chasing an outstanding debt. In love for some there's a sense of regret. In health test results for some there's a fracture. I see splints and bandages with more tests to follow after. In the challenge, keys break off in a lock and in the overall energy, you are against the clock. So what do we have then? In money, you are chasing an outstanding debt. I feel somebody came to you, family, friend, and you sort of loaned them a bit of money for a short period of time and they've been saying, yeah, I'll be paying you. Yes, you'll get the money back. And it's like to call that debt in there, okay? You need to say to them, look, you've been promising. And even if you say to them, pay me something, do you know what I mean? Then having these false promises, you know, just say, I'm willing to take small payment until you pay it back off, but it's as though they're trying to divert the subject. That's not gonna be there for everybody, but I do feel for some of you. It could also be an outstanding debt, what you're owed, okay? It could be a settlement figure, it could be a payout, it could be a dividend, it's money that you've been, you've put the effort in and somebody hasn't paid you so there's that as well two sides of the coin okay guys in love for some there's a sense of regret and I felt um, 
it doesn't always have to be about partners. It can be a sense of regret where you may have not got on with a family member and you've had sort of a distance from them for quite a period of time. And then you regret sitting there thinking, all oh, that lost time that I never engaged with that family member or I never made the effort. Do you know what I mean? Or it could be, for those in a relationship, a sense of regret of being hurtful or saying words you didn't mean. And it's that kind of an energy. Okay. So test results for some and I felt a fracture I felt there was a, a a fracture that appears from a test result um where you thought you just knocked yourself or what have you and it's obviously come out on the test scan result or what have you saying you know what that you've actually got a hairline fracture here um and I also feel more follow-up um, appointments and you'll have to put sort of a, a splint on it um, there isn't much I can do for fractures to be fair I think it's about six to eight weeks process um, before they can heal but I did see fractures for some of you and against the clock for some of you as well Capricorn it's like you've got to get a resume in an essay in a project in an application in and it's like a deadline is approaching before the end of this month so with that said and done, let's get into the card, shall we? And see what comes out for the lovely Capricorns. Spirit, what do they need to hear? What do they need to see? Please bring out the cards on the table for me. What have we got for Capricorn? And I don't know why I've got... Um, Climb every mountain out of sound of music. Uh, climb every mountain. Uh, follow every stream. Is it follow every rainbow? Follow. Of course, we'll sing along now. <laughs> I don't know the words, guys. All I know it's climb every mountain. Yeah, follow every stream. Is it? But yeah, um, it could be because it's a Julie Andrews Association, and because I've got some people not feeling very well with the fractures and what have you and it's that other song that she sang was a, a spoonful of medicine helps the no a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down the medicine go down yeah something along those lines <laughs> the medicine go down yeah but moving along swiftly <laughs> what else have we got for the lovely capricorns two more at this step please spirit what have we got for the messages Now don't forget guys, if it's not about you directly, it could be uh, someone close to you that's going through these scenarios that come out in the reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. An extra one for you for some reason. You have to be different, but I don't mind. I love my Capricorns. Let's just put these up and we'll turn them around. First one. Oh! <gasps> Wheel of Fortune, what a beautiful card. Okay, getting out of the danger zone. Got Tom Cruise now. I'm not going to even attempt singing danger zone. I am not going to attempt singing the danger zone. Okay. Next card out. Two of Cups. The Death card. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, look at that beautiful card. King of Swords. So, we'll start this end. First out, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, guys. Everything is coming in to play this week. Everything is aligned as well. Okay. She holds a pocket watch there. And I want to say time to get the wheels in motion. Because I, I work with colour and we've got red here. She's wearing a red, a red dress. A red, red dress. But underneath, you are putting the wheels in motion. And the time is now right. Wheel of Fortune is coming in to lessen the load for the Capricorns. 
So, Two of Cups comes out. And this can mean difference in an opinion with somebody. Because again, we've got red here. So there's an argument going on, or there could be going on for some of you, where there's a difference of opinion. One wants it this way, one wants it the other way, and you've got to come to a, a, a compromise. There's a compromise that has to be met this week for some of my Capricorns. Also as well, two heads are better than one on a situation. So in order to get down to sorting out something this week, it's saying get your heads together, okay? Make a plan and get your heads together. Because something new is coming in and changes are on the horizon, on the very, very very near horizons you are coming back to life as well capricorn but can you see the skeleton here this is where the fracture comes in i feel for some of you as i picked up there's going to be an x-ray and it'll bring up this break or fracture for some of you not all of you but i do feel that is poignant hence why that card has come out we have the queen of pentacles and this is about winds of change. Surveying what you own in this stage of your life. Okay. I look at the white rose as a brand new start. cleansing and also healing as well there's things in your life that have gone as in you've got to let go of change things that no longer serve you that goes with friends as well and family and you stand there and you, it's as though you stand there and feel the winds of change. Have you ever, ever, I get teeth in my, have you ever experienced that guys? Have you ever stood and felt the winds of change around you? And it's as though you have this sixth sense thinking something's going to happen. Okay. There's a big shift coming in. And this shift is coming in around you, Capricorn. And the reason being, we have the King of Swords here. Directly plugged in to the universe. About to bring in your wishes and dreams. So protected. So protected, uh, Caps. Beautiful cards, which I'm now going to clarify. Okay. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> but yeah, highway to the danger zone. You're coming out of the danger zone. You've been in there long enough. So, you never know what to expect me, my dear guys. Right then, too many cards there. But I am going to take the top one off. Right, for the two cups then. You know what, I am going to drop that uh, song in the description link below. Did you hear what I said then? I am going to drop that song in the description link below. I'm going to drop that link in the description box below. Oh my days. Talk about getting your words back to front. Right then, death. I'm going to blame it on the weather. It's so warm here in the UK um, at the moment. And I'm sitting in a room um, and it's really warm. I've got no fan on or anything because I didn't want it to over sound on the, you know, the, the tape sort of thing. Tape, you know what I mean, recording. So I'm, I'm suffering for you guys. <laughs> no air. So yeah, I'll blame it on that. I'm in the danger zone, guys. I'm sitting in the danger zone. 
Queen of Pentacles and King of Swords. Oh gosh, look at this. Abracadabra with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Planets align. It's all coming in for you. Capricorn, it's literally coming in for you. Amazing. I can't even say with the Abracadabra and the Wheel of Fortune coming out together. It's like two ace cards coming out together for you in this reading. You're going to be rising above whatever the challenges that you have been in, the danger zones that you have felt in, the pressures and everything on the day to day. It's changing, guys. Okay, it's changing and things are fated for you as well. And I want to say fated because sometimes we get in a rut some uh, we get in a rut sometimes and we think what's going on here but well, it's these in the heavens mapping it all out for you and getting you to the right destination so you're being covered really well here so what comes out with the two of cups oh look new directions you know, when I said winds of change. And wishes are released. And I want to say hats off to you, Capricorn. Hats off to you because you're saying you're hanging in there. Okay, you're hanging in there waiting for these wishes to come in. But new directions. Four and five come to nine, so we're nearly at an end of a cycle. Gosh, death, and we have Queen B. And it's like to say, all the hard work is done, and you're just waiting for it to be served upon you. You know, like the Queen B in a hive. I had this for somebody else recently, and I was explaining. Like the queen bee is there and she's waited on, isn't she really? All she does is lays the eggs for new queens to come out in the new season. But in the meantime, all the workers go out and they're busy, busy, busy and they bring everything back in, the nutrition and everything. And I want to say you're the queen bee and you're waiting for all these worker bees to come round you and bring in the nutrients and the nutrition and the money and everything. Um, the pot of honey for you. So that's beautiful as well. It's like people are working for you, with you, not against you. So then we have the gardener with the Queen of Pentacles. Now for some of you, if this is not you directly, then there's somebody who needs to attend a hospital or in between appointments or will have find themselves going in for some kind of health treatment, but they're between houses. And when I say houses, it could be a, the GP in the hospital or the hospital in your home okay but I do feel there is because um, we've got green here we had green in the Queen of Pentacles and it's like some kind of a healing process some kind of attachment to appointments or medicines and then we have touch the sky okay and this is a lifeline coming down to you hence why we've got the King of Swords but it's like to say you're being watched from up above, okay? And you've got this silver lining and this trace. It's like a communication that is coming in again with the bird. But I feel a silver lining and a wish will come true. Oh, Capricorn, this is such a lovely set of cards for you, honestly. The last few weeks you've had some really positive readings. So... Next up, we have your inner psyche. How are you feeling deep within? What else have we got for Capricorn? And your inner psyche, there's two here. I've had a couple out um, in Cancer as well, I think I did. So, we've got the four of trees, which is growth, with depression. Okay? This is the red, you know when I said you've been in this uh, danger zone, things, you know, not 
working out for you or you've had to wait a long period of time you've gone through such a cycle of months okay of wondering will this ever end it's this oh the horrible energy that i feel some of you have been in but we're going from this depression and we're going into the four of trees growth and that's why these two cards came out for you it's weirdo spirit work isn't it and it's saying you can move forward you can put roots down a firmer foundation and you'll be losing this okay some of you still get those depressive feelings because they become like a scar to us in a way but you are growing out of that and moving forward so I'm just going to get your moon phases cards what else have we got for Capricorn oh well and it's the path out of the darkness into a new landscape a new portal is opening and soon you will be able to escape this darkness absolutely beautiful energy caps beautiful reading let's have a look at your animal spirit cards what else have we got And we have the peacock, which is the alchemical sign of air, and the tarantula, which is the alchemical sign of fire. I want to say to you that the peacock is the air waiting the communication to come in. I feel legality, legal um, things you are waiting for. It can also mean, as I said, uh, where you have to go and seek guidance from medical profession as well i see that type of energy um like a consultant or something like that for somebody if it's not you directly it could be somebody around you who needs to go and see a consultant or a doctor in a hospital i want to say a hospital or not 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 just your normal gp but this is your energy the tarantula okay and i feel the tarantula comes in to say Make sure you spin your web far and wide in order to get the information that you require this week. Connections, okay? Need to be spinning that web out and having that passion within you. I feel like the tarantula is about connections, okay? Put like because of the spider's web how it spins things out and it's like to say you need to make sure you are connecting to the right people this week because we've got red in this card and this is about something about you're passionate about so you're sort of going for the attack on something this week where you want answers okay you want answers i was going to clarify that card actually i feel like i want to put a clarifier to that tarantula just have a clarifier please spirit for the peacock and the tarantula for capricorn 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 <gasps> serendipity so yeah good luck good fortune and i want to say because that's come out it's just give me some clarification to say stay where you are because the serendipity card has come out now, it's given me a total different message to what I just recently said. Yeah, you want to make connections and you want to get answers and you need to put that communication out there. But once you've done that, sit tight and allow serendipity, the fates, to work their magic. Don't get breaking what you've already the work that you've already created if that makes sense don't destroy your web because you've got everything covered that's what they're telling me now i have to wait for a while for the messages to come through so like fixing a jigsaw puzzle so it's like to say you might be angry you might be frustrated in waiting on this information but don't 
damage what's already being put there because the fates are working behind the scenes. Faith caps. So let's have a look at your messages from the spirit world, guides and angels this week. What have we got for Capricorns? They've just, somebody's just shouted number 10, number 10, number 10. So I'm going to count 10 cards from here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forgiveness. Now, didn't I say, um, in love for some there's a sense of regret forgiving yourself for not for allowing a distance of non-communication i felt with some of you and i felt this is why these cards had to come out for some but it reads guys look at the green in here for healing as well time to heal old wounds time to let go and forgive do not allow yourself to be a victim any longer, for in doing so, you only hurt yourself. Forgive and set yourself free. You are eternally loved. Accept the love being offered and allow it to heal you. I really feel that is why they shouted at me, number 10, because that card has come out. Time to let go and forgive and don't be the victim any longer. I just feel there's regrets. You may have sort of... Um, realized you may not have communicated with somebody for quite a long time there's a rift or an argument and it sort of separated you in a friendship or a family collective okay and you're starting to build bridges and that's when you think you know what life's too short At the end of the day they're my blood relatives or they're my close friends and we need to make amends and say sorry and move forward because at the end of the day, you only make yourself the victim because of that hurt, if that makes sense, okay? So let me get another uh, card out for you. I feel like I want to go with the fairy realms. So Capricorn, what else have we got for you? Connect with nature. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Most of my Capricorns are really in tune with nature anyway. Okay, they love to be connected with nature. But I'm looking at the butterfly more than anything here. It's the transformation and the green again about you healing and you transforming yourself as a person. And getting yourself more grounded as well so my lovely capricorns don't forget to check out the two ladies ladies <laughs> channels the tipsy tea leaf oracle and falling star tarot in the description box show some love and support guys there um and check out your moon and rising signs until next week you take care of yourselves bye then